Hi everyone, it's really a pleasure to be here with all of you. Uh, I'm Dario Garcia from the Computer Science Department. This is Ashwin, and we come from the HPAI group. So today, since we are in a research institution, uh, we wanted to ask you uh, a question about magic. If you had the magical power to gather a subset of human knowledge and be able to condense it into a small ball, something that you can actually share and distribute across the world, something that you can send away and be useful for everyone, what subset of, what subset of science would you pick? What field of human knowledge is so important that it would benefit universally everyone? So for me, I mean, it's really hard to pick being a researcher and all, but I think human healthcare is going to be up there, right? I mean, it's really hard to argue against human healthcare unless you are against humanity uh, itself. That's a hard task. Um, but yeah, probably it would be, that would be it. So we have actually today this capacity. In the last few years, we have developed these methods, these large language models, LLMs, that essentially that's what they do. They gather the vastest, the biggest amounts of data they can get, and they just get it down to a small, relatively small, uh, neural network representation that then it can be queried, it can be accessed, it can be distributed, and this is uh, what they do, and it's quite incredible. They are still, of course, limited because, well, it's a compression system, so there's some loss of information. It's not 100% accurate. That's, it's tricky, but still it's the most powerful search engine that we have built, unless anything before it. But still of this power is not enough. It's not enough as long as we are working just with text, because the amount of information that we can encode in text is limited. I mean, our experiences, our human knowledge goes well beyond text. And if we work and think about human healthcare, we have to think about the visual aspects of it. The last few decades, medical research has focused a lot on visual uh, research for human healthcare. So techniques like X-rays, MRIs, CT scans, PET scans, uh, fundus retina images, I mean, there's a lot of them. And this is because all this information comprises a completely different set of knowledge that is needed to understand symptoms, pathologies, how to deal with it. So if we could get this visual knowledge, condense it, and introduce it into the same representation that we have in the LLM, and we can manage the LLM to work with both the textual and the visual information, the amount of power, the understanding of human healthcare that we will achieve will be something completely different. And the amount of interactions and the type of interactions that it will enable will be completely different. So this is what we call a medical vision language model. This is what we are working on at HPAI. Uh, we call it uh, aloe vera, and uh, it's awesome. <laughs> As we will tell you more about it. Yeah. Like Dario mentioned, we've been working on it for the past six months, and we are happy to share that as of last week, we've completed its heart, the large language model, which we call Allo. And as far as we know, it's a very good heart. It's a state-of-the-art 7 billion parameter model, which destroys everything else in its class, and it's comparable in performance to 70 billion parameter models, that is models 10 times in its size, with across medical benchmarks. And imagine, what would happen if you create an allo with 70 billion parameter models? Well, maybe in the next annual meeting, with the help of Marinastrum 5, we can answer that. But our journey doesn't end here, right? We've talked about the language model, but what about the visual component? And at HPI, we're hard at work at completing the visual components of our model. And us, along with our partners, we are also investing significantly in terms of the safety and the alignment aspects. And we are one of the very few groups in the entire world which are aligning or trying to align vision language models. We are also interested in the HPC aspects. So we've been investigating on how to scale these models, how to make them efficient and accessible to more users. So how to make it cheaper for users to be able to access it. And we are investing significant efforts towards that as well. 
During this journey, we've realized that this, is, this transcends more than just the realm of technology, right? It's a narrative brimming with possibilities and real-world impact. Thank you.